join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the age of artificial intelligence and autonomous machines, humanity stands at the threshold of a new industrial revolution, one driven not by the sweat of labor, but by the silent precision of code and circuitry. The idea that machines could think, move, and even feel in a human-like way has long captivated the imagination of scientists, engineers, and dreamers alike. Yet, when the world speaks of robotics, when it celebrates the achievements of inventors like Nikola Tesla, Isaac Asimov, or even Leonardo da Vinci, it often forgets the name of one man whose ideas laid the foundation for what we now call modern robotics. He was a black man, a mechanical prodigy born into a world that sought to erase his brilliance. His name was Elijah McCoy. Though history remembers him faintly as the real McCoy, his true legacy extends far beyond the steam engines of the 19th century. His innovations created the mechanical blueprint for automation itself, the essence of modern robotics. To understand McCoy's place in the genesis of robotics, one must first step back into the world that shaped him. Born in 1844 in Colchester, Ontario, Elijah McCoy was the son of George and Mildred McCoy, African Americans who had fled enslavement in Kentucky through the Underground Railroad. Canada was a refuge for thousands of fugitives escaping the brutality of bondage, and McCoy family found safety in the northern lands that promised freedom. But safety did not equate to equality. Black families, even in Canada, faced racial barriers that made education and opportunity scarce. Despite these obstacles, young Elijah displayed a remarkable talent for understanding machines and how they worked. His parents, recognizing his gift, scraped together their savings and sent him to Scotland at the age of 15 to study mechanical engineering, an extraordinary act of sacrifice for a formerly enslaved family in the mid-1800s. In Scotland, McCoy received a rigorous education in mechanical and railway engineering. He studied at the University of Edinburgh, one of the most advanced engineering schools in the world at the time. This was no small feat. Very few black men in the 19th century received formal education in such disciplines. He was trained in the mechanics of motion, thermodynamics, and the art of precision design, skills that would later help him reimagine the automation of machinery itself. When McCoy returned to North America, however, he found that the world was not ready to accept a black engineer. In the United States, racial discrimination barred him from practicing his profession. Despite his international credentials, the only job he could obtain was as a fireman and oilman for the Michigan Central Railroad in Detroit. It was in that position, standing beside the roaring heat of steam locomotives, that McCoy witnessed firsthand the inefficiencies of the industrial age. Steam engines required constant lubrication to function. Workers had halt operations to manually oil the moving parts of engines and machinery, a process that wasted time and reduced productivity. This laborious task sparked an idea in McCoy's mind, a mechanical system that could automatically lubricate the moving parts of a machine while it was still running. In 1872, he invented the automatic lubricating cup, a self-regulating device that distributed oil evenly across machinery without human intervention. It may seem simple today, but this invention revolutionized industrial operations. Trains could now run longer and more efficiently. Factories could maintain continuous production without stopping machines for manual maintenance. This automation of mechanical motion became a critical principle in the design of modern robotics, the notion that machines could self-regulate, adapt, and sustain themselves. McCoy's device was the first instance of a mechanical feedback system, a principle that lies at the core of robotics today. In robotics, feedback is what allows a robot to sense, adjust, and correct its behavior in real time. Whether it's an autonomous robot arm adjusting pressure when gripping a fragile object or a self-driving car altering its path to avoid an obstacle, the concept is the same. McCoy's lubricator was, in essence, the first industrial application of mechanical autonomy. It allowed machines to think in the sense that they could perform self-maintenance without human interference. That concept, machines maintaining themselves, was revolutionary in the 19th century, 
and it would quietly shape the next two centuries of mechanical innovation. The success of McCoy's invention spread rapidly across North America and Europe. His lubricators were installed in locomotives, steamships, and factory equipment. They became synonymous with quality and reliability. Engineers and railroad operators would insist that they wanted the real McCoy, not an imitation, a phrase that would later enter common language as a symbol of authenticity. Yet, the man behind the phrase remained largely unknown. White-owned companies profited immensely from his inventions, and McCoy was often denied full credit or financial reward for his work. The racial hierarchies of the industrial era made it nearly impossible for a black inventor to gain recognition or control over his own patents. Many of his devices were patented under the names of his employers, and others were outright stolen. Still, McCoy continued to innovate relentlessly. Over his lifetime, he registered more than 50 patents, many of which laid the groundwork for automatic control systems, fluid mechanics, and the basic logic of mechanical automation all of which underpin the science of robotics today. But McCoy's influence did not stop with the lubricating cup. In 1916, he invented a graphite lubricator that combined oil and graphite to reduce friction in high-temperature engines, a principle later used in aerospace and automotive engineering. He also developed devices for lawn sprinklers, ironing machines, and even folding tables. Each of these inventions displayed a deep understanding of mechanical motion and energy efficiency. What distinguished McCoy's genius was not simply his ability to create useful machines, but his capacity to make them intelligent, to make them function seamlessly with minimal human input. This philosophy of automation, of designing systems that could operate independently and intelligently, would become the defining feature of robotics. To understand the continuity between McCoy's 19th century machines and modern robotics, one must look at the evolution of control systems. In 1948, nearly 80 years after McCoy's first automatic lubricator, Norbert Wiener published Cybernetics, or Control and Communication in the Animal and the Machine, a book that laid the theoretical foundation for robotics, computer science, and artificial intelligence. Wiener described feedback loops, systems that use sensory information to regulate their own behavior. What few realize is that McCoy's lubricator functioned on this same principle. It was a closed-loop system. The movement of the engine triggered the release of oil, which in turn maintained the system's function. This was mechanical cybernetics long before the term existed. McCoy's work bridged the gap between the industrial machine and the intelligent machine a bridge that would later support the entire field of robotics. By the early 1900s, as industry moved toward greater automation, McCoy's concepts began to echo through every factory and workshop in the industrialized world. Assembly lines, pioneered by Henry Ford in Detroit, the same city where McCoy worked, were possible largely because machinery had become self-lubricating and capable of extended operation. The philosophy of machine autonomy had taken root. Later developments in robotics, from the mechanical arms of General Motors in the 1960s to today's AI-driven robots in Tesla's factories, all rely on the same foundational logic McCoy introduced. Feedback, efficiency, and independence. Every robot that self-corrects or self-maintains owes a conceptual debt to that first automatic lubricator, built by a black engineer who refused to accept the limitations of his time. McCoy's story is also a story of invisibility. Despite his extraordinary achievements, his name never appeared in most engineering textbooks or histories of innovation. The systemic racism of the 19th and early 20th centuries relegated many black inventors to the margins of history. Others, like Granville Woods, the Black Edison, faced similar struggles for recognition despite their immense contributions to telecommunication and railway automation. McCoy, like Woods, represented a generation of black innovators who laid the groundwork for technologies that define the modern world, but whose legacies were buried under racial prejudice and historical neglect. Even today, most people who use the phrase the real McCoy have no idea it honors a black inventor who revolutionized industry. In his later years, McCoy's health and fortune declined. In 1920, he and his wife were involved in a tragic automobile accident that left them seriously injured. His wife died, 
and McCoy suffered physical and emotional trauma from which he never fully recovered. He died in relative obscurity in 1929, just before the Great Depression, at the age of 85. Yet even as his body failed, his inventions continued to hum in factories and railways across the world. His machines kept running self-sustaining, just as he had designed them to silent testaments to the mind of a man who would imagine mechanical life before anyone called it robotics. It is important to understand that McCoy's legacy is not just technological, it is philosophical. He imagined a world where machines could relieve human beings of repetitive labor, where human intelligence could be extended through mechanical systems. This idea would later evolve into artificial intelligence, the dream of creating machines that think and act autonomously. When we see humanoid robots performing surgeries, drones navigating autonomously, or industrial robots assembling cars with flawless precision, we are witnessing the living evolution of McCoy's dream. His idea that machinery could sustain itself and function with intelligence was not merely an engineering breakthrough. It was a redefinition of humanity's relationship with technology. He envisioned a partnership between man and machine, one in which automation could enhance human life rather than replace it. Modern roboticists often trace their lineage to the 1950s, when George Devil and Joseph Engelberger developed Unimate, the first industrial robot arm. But beneath the layers of circuits and sensors that power today's robots lies the same mechanical wisdom that McCoy pioneered, an understanding that machines could be designed to act with purpose, precision, and persistence. Without McCoy's early insight into autonomous mechanical systems, the very concept of self-sustaining robotics might have developed far later. He was, in every sense, the original robotic engineer, even if he never used that term. Today, a century after his death, Elijah McCoy's influence has spread far beyond the railways and factories of his time. Robotics companies, automation engineers, and artificial intelligence researchers continue to build upon the mechanical logic he discovered. His story reminds us that the foundations of modern technology are not solely European or white. They are global and deeply intertwined with the brilliance of minds that history once tried to erase. The genius of Elijah McCoy challenges us to remember that innovation knows no color, that the spark of creativity and intelligence that drives human progress belongs to all of humanity. The next time you see a robot arm moving with precision on an assembly line or an AI system making calculations faster than any human could, remember the black genius who first dreamed of a world where machines could think for themselves, not in a lab filled with computers, but beside the roaring furnaces of the industrial age. Elijah McCoy did not just make machines run smoother, he made them smarter. He gave them a blueprint for autonomy, a mechanical soul. And though history may have tried to forget his name, every self-operating machine in the world today carries his legacy in motion.